Good day everyone, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest photo analysis right here at Typhoon 2000 and this is for this weekend of October 8 to 10, 2022, Saturday to Monday and this is our English version let's begin with our update, here's the uh, latest graph set that we created last night and we have the emergence now, the northeast monsoon, it's quite early but maybe due to some uh, temporary high pressure cell forming over China which enhances this monsoonal flow quite early and it's affecting uh, areas of Taiwan and the uh, southern China coastline including Hainan so rains will be expected thunderstorms across these areas and we have a frontal system here at the, ba at the back of this uh, text and uh, right here over eastern sections of Luzon, extreme northern Luzon, including Batanes, we have the first uh, initial blast of the northeasterly surface wind flow. Although across the Bicol region and uh, eastern Visayas, there are some rain showers and thunderstorms expected, especially in the afternoon or evening, where the convergence of these northeasterlies will bring uh, thunderstorm activity over the areas. So please take all necessary precautions against uh, lightning strikes and possible flooding in hazard prone areas. Now uh, other portions of the Philippine Islands will have good weather with uh, isolated rain showers and thunderstorms particularly in the afternoon or evening because of the prevailing La Nina. There are lots in store across the Visayas today and through the weekend. Outside of PAR, we are monitoring low pressure area 96W, which is uh, um, now to the west of Guam. It's quite cloudless as of this time. And we have here a trough to the northwest of 96W, which is uh, likely to become another LPA. So these are weak LPAs. And uh, uh, to the right of 96W, there's another LPA that has formed during the past six hours, and it's now known as 97W. I'm going to show it to you uh, based on this uh, fast animation. So here we go. Here's uh, the uh, possible trough that could become another LPA, probably LPA 98W. And 96W is somewhere here. And uh, here's 97W, a new one that formed to the east of that formed to the east of Guam. So there are multiple low pressure uh, systems, but still quite weak. Okay, that is expected to roam across the uh, western Pacific. And here over the Visayas, we are monitoring the emergence of a monsoon trough. Okay. Since the winds is coming from the uh, west to southwest along the uh, southern part of the Philippines and uh, some northeasterly winds here over the northern portions of that uh, convergence, okay? Uh, so this is known as the monsoon trough. And uh, if we take a look now on the latest, uh, let me see. Wait. Zoom in satellite animation, so... This is the windy.com zoom in satellite animation. And it's quite good weather across Luzon, except for some portions of Quezon, northern Quezon. There are some rain showers and thunderstorms generated by the northeasterly wind flow here over the Bicol region. Some calm conditions, but variable winds blowing from the northwest and west, but later on it will be blowing from the northeast once again. And we have here the uh, uh, monsoon trough forming and uh, affecting Visayas. There are lots of thunderstorms that will prevail through the weekend. Here's the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days until uh, Monday. As you can see, the uh, Visayas area, including Mimaropa, will be under the influence of localized thunderstorms because of the uh, development of a monsoon trough here. And right here, this rainfall activity over to the north, of the uh, Philippine Sea up to the Batanes is mainly due to that other uh, surface trough that we've uh, shown to you a while and it's uh, moving towards the west so it's likely to become another LPA and it could bring rainfall over the uh, uh, northern most parts of Luzon, uh, Kalayan and Batanes so expect some rains and thunderstorms since it will uh, 
converge with the northeasterly surface wind flow, while the rest will have um, nice weather, but expect some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms as well, based on the uh, forecast. Okay, now let's take a look at the wind forecast for the next three days until um, Tuesday. This is uh, from the European model. So uh, today uh, the LPA is uh, somewhere here and we have another one here. This is 97W. Okay, this is 96W. And we have another trough here which could become another LPA in the next couple of days. And it might affect extreme northern Luzon. And on uh, Sunday, there you go. The LPA is now moving towards uh, uh, the Philippine Sea. And on Monday, the LPA is somewhere here. Okay, possible LPA forming here. And another one here, this 97W remaining quasi-stationary that could become the next tropical cyclone beginning on Monday or Tuesday. And we have here the flow of the uh, northeast uh, monsoon, okay, affecting Batanes and Baboy and Cuba Islands. So that will be on Monday. The rest of the Philippine Islands will be under the influence of the monsoon trough, okay. So uh, if we move forward till the next weekend, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday until Saturday or Sunday, we are seeing here of a developing uh, tropical cyclone. So that's uh, 97W. On Tuesday, it could become a tropical depression, a tropical storm, and the track is moving towards Batanes area. Okay, that will be the track because it will uh, coincide with the emergence of the northeast monsoonal flow so it will track more to the west southwest towards Batanes. So Fox down here over Batanes. Uh, we must be on the lookout on this uh, weather system especially for next weekend but the forecast model will still change so we will keep you updated on that. So far that's the latest. Let's enjoy our weekend and we are returning again on Monday to give you more updates on the weather especially those uh, small low pressure systems forming over the Western Pacific. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Paddy reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag WeatherWiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.